hanging in there. You hanging? You know, watch right. the news. What, what's new with the news? Anything new and exciting in the news we could talk about? Nah, man. Just the swine flu and the shots and stuff that they're giving out, you know. Man, what, did you get your did you get your swine flu shot? No, nah, no. Nah. Are you gonna get one? I don't think so. Now you did get the flu shot last last year. I remember you got the flu shot, right, pops? Yeah. Well, I I did get the flu shot. Uh, oh shoot! Uh, back in September, you know I I get that every year, but. Mm. I remember uh, when you went and got that flu shot and you came up to my house and you had to lay down. You were sick. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Why, so why do you give the flu shot, Dad? I mean, why would you give yourself the flu? So if by after experiencing that with a regular flu shot, does that make you scared to get the swine flu shot? It was, yeah. And, you know, it's new, you know, and... Nobody really knows uh, a long-term side effect of it or anything like that, you mm. know? Mm. So you've been paying a little Where? bit of attention. Huh? Yep. Keep going. Well, you know, on on the um, swine flu, you know, I, I look at it like this, uh, which a lot of people also agree that... Uh, uh, you know, if you catch the swine flu and it's your time to go, it's your time to go. Hey, you know, last night my wife woke me up uh, from uh, a deep sleep. It was like 2 a.m. And uh, you know how when you used to brush my hair when I was a kid, you would take me by the chin. Remember that, Dad? You would, like, hold me by the chin. Or if you oh, had, so you hold your head still. Hold your head still. I'll, I'll never forget that. You would just scrape my scalp with that brush before church. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now listen, Dan, now listen. I woke up to my wife holding me by the chin like that, shaking my head back and forth. And she go and yelling my name, Robert, Robert. And I woke my eyes and I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? And uh, she says, you quit breathing. I'm like, I quit yeah, breathing. Well, like She said, I quit breathing. You did. I don't know if I did. I went I went to work and told my coworkers about it. They're like, shit, she was smothering your ass. And when you started to come to, she said, Robert, Robert. <laughs> oh, oh, really? Oh, anyway, Dad, Dad. When was, did that happen? Oh, last night, 2 a.m. in the morning. No kidding. Yeah, you seem to be coming through on one channel only, and I don't know why, but that's all right. It's something the listeners can deal with. They probably don't even want to listen. But, you know, I just thought you'd be good to, to come on the air. Uh, and uh, I hope you don't mind you're live on the air, do you? Now? No. Hello. Yeah. Hey, hey Pops, what's shaking? All right, man. All right. I'm doing right. the best I can right at the time. I'm doing the best you can, right? So you got your water turned on now, right? Oh yeah, man. How long? Did you, how long did you go without water? I have to take a shower. You, when did you get the when did you get the water on? I got it on about oh three o'clock this afternoon. And you ain't taking a shower yet? No, no, because I. It's eleven oh nine at night. What are you wait? Beach, you so. you were at the beach. Yeah. What were you doing at the beach? Stopped there and did a little walking around the beach. You, who? You and who? Uh, Merlino. Oh, what well, Kenny Merlino? He's in town. Yeah, man. Oh man, you got to bring him by me. By the way, for all of my Lo uh, Austin listeners, uh, uh, Kenny Merlino lives in Austin, doesn't he, Dan? Yeah, yeah. Um, Austin, but. There's a little town right outside of Austin. Um, I forget the name of the place. But Ask his big yeah. ass. Ain't he right there at your house? Huh? Where's he at? He's here. Oh, ask him. What town do you live in in Texas? Or um, is he sleeping? Um, oh, Dale. Dale, Texas. Dale, Texas. Dad, yeah. you, you got your teeth in, Dad? Uh -huh. You got your teeth in? I 
can't hear you, bro. Uh, hey, do you have your teeth in? Are your teeth in right now? Um, Are your teeth in? You, um, you got your dentures in? No. <laughs> <laughs> turn up uh, turn up the bell tone and put in the dentures. Come on, man. We got to have a conversation. We ain't had one in a long time. Yeah, yeah. Put in the dentures. No, that's all right. With the, you got them uh, in the effersent? Huh? You got them in the effersent stuff? You put them in the effersent? In the, in the address? No, the effersent. The stuff to oh, clean man. your fucking dentures. Yeah. yeah, man. I got some of that stuff. You got your teeth soaking in them right now? Yeah, I got them soaking. So what do you think about when you look at the news and you read the news? You still watch wrestling, though, right? Yeah, I watched the last half hour of it tonight. Uh, did you hear Hogan's going back to uh, wrestling? He's uh, going to be uh, doing all of the booking and all of the uh, bringing people in for the uh, TNA wrestling. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. TNA, yep. wow. They're bringing back the old New World Order, Dad, the NWO. Yeah, mm -hmm. NWO, New World Order. You say it again, Dad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> New World Order. New World Order, that's correct. And you might, okay, I'll, I'll play a game with you. Dad, you're not like ready to go to sleep, are you? Yeah, I'm tired. Oh, come on. Weren't you sleeping at like 4 o'clock when I called you? 4 o'clock? <laughs> no, I don't remember. I, I wasn't sleeping at 4 o'clock. No. What'd you have for dinner, Pops? Huh? What'd you have for dinner, Pops? Um, I had an eggplant parmesan sub. How much that cost you? Um, five ninety nine. Thank God you got your water turned on. How many eggplant parmesan subs did you have while your water was turned off? Oh shoot! I used to go down to the. They got a mission down here on Park Boulevard, mm -hmm. and um. At five o'clock, no, from three to five thirty, they serve a hot meal, and if you wanted a shower, you can get a shower. That's what I used to do. Where's this mission at? Is this over by uh, the railroad tracks up there? Yeah, up in that area. Okay, I know what you're talking about. I know just where... Man, I'm going to have to recruit a couple of them bums for my rent-a-bum idea. But you're not necessarily a bum. I mean, you got your own crib and everything. You just couldn't afford to pay your water bill, and they didn't give a shit, and they turned it off for some time. That's right. And you did what you had to do to survive. Uh, well, let's see. That. Let me ask you then, Pop. Uh, so, you went to the, so you go to the mission... Uh, and they feed you a hot meal. They do that for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or lunch and dinner, or just dinner. How's that work? Uh, just the dinner uh, between three thirty and five thirty. And uh, did they charge you anything? No, man, it's all free. How do they prove you're home? How do you, I mean, do you have to be homeless, or what's the criteria to be able to go there and take a shower? It ain't like the YMCA or nothing. I mean, no, I'm no. Uh, first thing you, uh, most people do, and that's what I've been doing, is going in there, eating a, uh, a hot meal. <laughs> uh, I had chili one day and a hot turkey sandwich at the same time. And at the same time? Yeah, and, um, <laughs> you know, Kool-Aid, you know, and, um, they had donuts for dessert and stuff, you know, day-old donuts and stuff. What do you got to do, though? Do you got to go in there and you got to fill out paperwork, or they just feed you? No, no, they just feed you, and, um, it, it's crazy, man. Some of those people are, are uh violent and crazy man you know well, well the majority of those people unlike yourself uh -huh. a, the, a majority of those people unlike yourself actually uh stand out on a corner all day long holding up a sign saying yeah that's true. hungry I, god I, bless I, I hear it all the time and they're averaging a good twenty dollars an hour I mean, how does oh. how, how does a homeless man, you know, with a uh, a six month beard, and and go to the mission 
and be able to uh, and get free food and stuff yet have a full pack of cigarettes in his pocket knowing damn well those cigarettes cost him five or six dollars a pack that's a shame you know I was talking to Ken tonight about that I says there's somebody see them guys over there sitting at the gas station six seven dollars a pack and then they go down and uh, get their mortgage paid their rent paid you know different organizations and stuff but you know hey if, if, if you can get away with it that's the way it is you know People do it. Well, Dad, some of these folks are making like twenty dollars an hour. I mean, think about how many cars pass by them standing in the median holding up sign with their hand out, dude. Oh, and sometimes yeah. they come right up to your car with the sign. You know what I'm saying? Now, Dad, where you live in, you know, in Pinellas County, they uh, there's a lot of strict codes and enforcements and what have you. But up here where I live, I mean, these people are on every corner. And I think I could make a deli- I think I could make a killing renting them out. All they want to do is get drunk. They really don't want nothing but to get drunk. Absolutely. You know what I'm like saying? Last night I was walking home from Wendy's with uh, Ken and some guy. Oh, Dude, you're eating Wendy's? Man, Jesus yeah. Christ! All right, go ahead. So you're walking home from Wendy's? Well, yeah, we were walking home when some guy come up behind us and said, "Hey, man, you know." Uh, uh, Somebody left me down on the beach. They ditched me and stuff when I got up there. And uh, I'm looking for some money so I can get a burger or something, you know. And normally, if you have, a, you know, a few pennies extra, you try to help the person. But nine out of ten times, that money never goes to get a hamburger. It goes to get their... Uh, smokes in their their moves. You know, here, Dad, I'll give you a good story. You want to hear a story? Mm -hmm. All right, here's the story. About three weeks ago, I go to the local Habib Mart, and and I buy some Powerball tickets. The Powerball is way up there. I wanted the Powerball. I wanted to win the Powerball. And uh, so, you know, I pull up to this, you know, Habib, and uh, there's a lot of derelicts, you know, kind of like in the neighborhood around the Habib there. And they... uh, I call a, I call that area Munchkin Land because I mean it's, the, the freaks all just come out anyway. So there's this guy sitting in front of the store there, and uh, he's got no shirt on. You see his bike right there, and you know he's you know one, he's gonna ask me he's gonna ask me for money when I come out the store. Okay, I yeah. already know it. Now here's the thing: I'm in you know to uh, uh, I'm in the in the New World Order cashless society system, and I hardly ever have any cash on me whatsoever. I I swipe the card, you know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah. when I come out of there, uh, I don't have no cash for him to begin with. So you know what I do? I give the guy a Powerball ticket. I said, "Here's your chance to win 250 million." You know what he did? He gave the Powerball ticket back to me. He said, "Man, I really just need a beer." I just just really need a beer and I'm like okay and I took the ticket back I got in my car and I left and he, you know it wasn't a winning ticket anyway but you know what it very well may have been if he were the one to have accepted possession of it who knows how that shit would have worked or what happened yeah yeah, yeah I remember uh, oh about five six years ago somebody down there on uh 38th Avenue, the guy lived in the trailer park, and he held a sign up there every day, and he used to play the lottery every night, and then the sucker turns around, and he won. So he was standing on the corner asking for money, and buying tickets with the money, and ended up winning. Yeah. Uh, hey man, yeah. that was his hustle till he won the fucking lottery. You know my hustle till I win the lottery. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, at least yeah. you're at least at least you're spending yours or somebody else's money on some Parmesan cheese, uh, eggplant subs, and uh, not on uh, lottery tickets. So I guess that's a good thing. You know, yeah. you you never yeah. been you never been big on the gambling, have you? No. Now, no. what about what about when you were young and you hang with the you hung with the thugs in Connecticut and the Puerto Ricans? I mean, didn't you all have bookies? Didn't you all do anything like that? Oh yeah. Tell me, yeah. tell me a good story, man. I want to hear a good story, Dad. And so the listeners, they love you. Bob well, is the new had, sensation. Uh, Off track betting, OTB up there, mm. and um, 
you play the horses and stuff, you know. And um, it's like buying a lottery ticket, and they had outlets where it was called OTB, off track betting. And you know, when I was uh, first got married and stuff, I, I used to spend, you know, twenty five, forty, maybe even fifty bucks a week on horses, you know. And Fuck that! You were buying beer. Huh? I said you were buying beer. I can't hear you. You were buying beer. Oh, beer? Beer. Beer. Yeah, beer. <laughs> Dad, you, you bought a lot of beer during that time, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. How, how long has it been since you had a drink? 21 years. 21 years. I think that's the same as my buddy Rasta, who lives in Oklahoma. His mom has 21 years. She may have a year or two on you in that sobriety gig there, but... <laughs> I love you, Pops. I love you, too. I was thinking about you. Somebody told me, don't forget about your family. And uh, I, I've totally... Uh, Oh. <laughs> um, and I totally uh, one of the things they told me was uh, don't forget my family and the ones that are close to me and I love you and I want you to don't forget about me either okay oh no I don't forget all right. about you man go keep your teeth in the effort dance I'll call you in later alright okay all man right. take care yeah good night pops bye bye now hey, there you go